You're listening to the Live, Love, Engage podcast. Today, I'm going to be talking about the value of forgiving yourself. Stay tuned. I am Gloria Grace Rand, founder of The Love Method and author of the number one Amazon bestseller, Live, Love, Engage, how to stop doubting yourself and start being yourself. In this podcast, we share practical advice from a spiritual perspective on how to live fully, love deeply, and engage authentically so you can create a life and business with more impact, influence, and income. Welcome to Live, Love, Engage. Namaste. I am Gloria Grace Rand, and I am delighted to be with you on this uh, Monday. And I am here again with another edition, a live edition of Live, Love, Engage. And today we're going to be talking about forgiveness. And in particular, forgiveness of ourselves. And um, this was brought home to me. The subject, the inspiration for this subject came about uh, last Friday when I had to practice some forgiveness of myself. So I was scheduled to record an interview for a podcast. I was going to be a guest on uh, someone else's podcast uh, talking about public speaking. And I had a a meeting with uh, with someone else uh, previous. Oh, oh, oops, there we go. (laughs) Looks like I got a little wonky internet connection today. Anyway, so the interview was scheduled at four o'clock. And unfortunately, what happened was that I was... Uh, even though even though the, the host of the podcast was great, sent me reminders, so I knew about it, had it on my calendar. I was on a call previous to that. We got done with the call at four. And for some reason, I thought that the interview wasn't until 4.30. So I went ahead and got through some makeup on, <laughs> I'm, you know, getting, getting all set. I got my lighting ready for the interview, came back, sat down and saw in my email that because I was trying to find the link to connect to the to the interview that the interview had been canceled (laughs) and I'm like oh crap and it's like oh shoot it was at four o'clock it was at four o'clock and I think what had happened was I had was figuring that my previous phone call was only going to take half an hour and so I would have time I would have a half an hour in between to get ready for the interview (sighs) So it just, that's what totally went through my head. So I was so mad at myself. Have you ever experienced that? (laughs) I was so mad at myself for breaking my commitment. You know, I said I was going to show up. I, you know, had been in email contact with this person and I said I was going to be there and then I'd show up late. And as a podcast host myself, I've had that experience where guests don't show up and it's very frustrating. And I could certainly understand why he would do that, why he would just cancel it. You know, the guest is 15 minutes late or 20 minutes late, whatever it was. So anyway, I I frantically, I I got onto Zoom and I sent him an email apologizing and, and all of this. And, you know, and I didn't hear anything. So I went and finally got off of Zoom. I went to get a glass of water and I was just really Oh, I just was getting down on myself for this. And then I realized, I'm like, okay, wait, (laughs) I can keep focusing on this or maybe I can reframe this idea and and come about it from a different perspective because it's not going to do me any good to continue to just beat up on myself for making a mistake. I'm human. (laughs) we make mistakes, don't we? We all make mistakes. And so I had to, I stopped myself and said, okay, let me think about this for a minute. Maybe this just wasn't meant to be. (laughs) It just wasn't meant to be today for whatever reason. Maybe I'm not meant to be on this show. I don't know, but you know, just let it go. And, or maybe the person will come back to me and we'll be able to reschedule. But it wasn't doing me any good to just beat up on myself for being human and making a mistake. All you can do when you make a mistake is you make amends. And that's what I did. I, it was, I sent him a, a couple of emails and just apologizing. 
So a little time went by, probably about an hour or so, and I went back up on my computer because I had to feed the dogs in the meantime. And sure enough, there was an email from this uh, lovely podcast host. And he said, oh, no worries. That happens. Things happen all the time. Just go ahead and, and uh, click on my schedule link and we'll get you back on the schedule. So that was a good lesson uh, for me. And I hope for you uh, listening and or watching this uh, today, whether on Facebook or on YouTube, that it doesn't do any good to continue to punish ourselves when we make mistakes because everybody makes mistakes. And as long as you own up to the mistake and you do apologize, then generally most people are going to be okay with that. And they're going to understand and they are going to accept your apology, hopefully, and, and move on. And, but, but staying in this negative energy doesn't work. And I think in particular, why I heard back from him was the fact that I was able to reframe it. Because frankly, I think if I stayed in a gloom and doom mood that, you know, we tend to, we, we attract what we put out, I believe. And so if I had stayed in that negative frame, it's very possible that I would not have heard back from that gentleman and I would have lost that opportunity. But because I did step back, I took a breath and I, I said, okay, let's, let's think about this a little bit. Let's not be, continue to beat myself up that it would be okay. And, and sure enough, he was very nice and I was able to get the opportunity to reframe or to reschedule, I should say. So what I love also was yesterday. I One of the things I love to uh, read every day is I subscribe to the Daily Word from Unity. And, and yesterday's Daily Word was perfect uh, because I'm going to put the number one is the affirmation that it was. The Daily Word was forgive. And the affirmation uh, that they put up is, or that they suggest to use is, I extend forgiveness to myself. So I thought I would share this as well today is to share this uh, brief reading with you because it, again, um, it's, it's such an important lesson to remember. So it says, throughout my life, I have forgiven those who have hurt and disappointed me. In turn, I have been grateful when others extended understanding and forgiveness to me. Even though I have learned to be forgiving with others, I may still find it difficult to forgive myself for mistakes I've made and disappointments I have caused and commitments I have broken. Hmm. Today, I open my heart and with love and compassion, I forgive myself. I remind myself that everyone makes mistakes and deserves understanding and forgiveness, even me. I remember how the prodigal son's father received him with joy when he came home. This joy is mine when I let go of self-condemnation and finally come home to myself. And then they have a reading from that story about the prodigal son here. It's from Luke 15, 20. It says, but while he was still far off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion. He ran and put his arms around him and kissed him. So I, I always love that the universe does provide these signs for me. And so um, it took two days, but it, but it was perfect because I had already decided that I wanted to share this story um, on today's podcast and then to be able to then have that as well to have the daily word be uh, talking about extending forgiveness to ourselves. Um, it was just divine order. And uh, that's another thing I, I would recommend um, for anyone listening today and watching is to always remember that really, I do believe that everything happens in divine order. And when we can hold on to that and really understand that, um, you know, life happens not to us, but for us, it's, um, it's a good way to go about life. You know, it's a good way to be able to move through and be able to have more happiness and joy and fulfillment in our lives. 
So before I leave you today, I, I would like to extend an invitation to you. If you have ever had trouble with forgiving yourself, maybe you, you've struggled with, um, you know, beating yourself up and, and you don't know how to be able to reframe it as quickly as I was able to do within a matter of minutes, I encourage you to schedule some time to talk with me. If you go to engagewithgloria.com uh, and uh, I will, uh, actually, I'm going to put this up here. Go to, go to engagewithgloria.com. And uh, what you'll do is you will be able to schedule an appointment to speak with me and we'll have a conversation and see if um, see if there's a possibility whether or not you even want to work with me or not, but just to see if I can help you. So uh, I would love to be able to chat with you. So again, go to engagewithgloria.com for that. And until next time, as always, I encourage you to go out and live fully, love deeply, and engage authentically. Did you know that a majority of entrepreneurs tend to discount the importance of their work? And a good number feel their success is simply due to luck. I know from personal experience that self-doubt can keep you from having the kind of life and business you desire. That's why I've created a free guide called Uniquely You, how to move from self-doubt to self-love in four simple steps. To claim your free guide, go to liveloveengage.gift. That's liveloveengage.gift.